In the fall of 2018, I decided to hug my father for the first time in my life. The experience unveiled a powerful lesson that can solve some of humanity's greatest challenges. One of these challenges is answering this. What is the single most impactful action for climate change adopted by mankind since 1979? The answer? There isn't one. Why not? That's the discovery I'm about to share with you. One that may even change climate change. I'll share how in a minute. My story actually begins a little earlier, overlooking a rice field surrounded by steep mountains in northern Thailand. Patches of water shine like silver in the morning sun, only surpassed by the radiant smile of the wise old man in front of me. He has just presented me with one of his many riddles. What is in one creation, the darkest of all darkness and the brightest of brightness? The answer is the human mind. If you master it, you can turn thought into reality. And if you don't, you cannot change anything. Inspired by this moment, I decided to launch a personal experiment back in Norway. My first thought was about my father and the fact that we never hug each other. I love and respect my dad deeply, but as for many Norwegians my age, a respectful nod or a handshake is our strict greeting ritual, even if my wife and kids hug him every time. To change this would make for a perfect first experiment of mastering mind to turn thought into reality. And that is how I decided to hug my dad. The following weeks, however, second thoughts arise. What if dad disapproves? He should make the first move. I mean, this could get embarrassing. A simple hug should be easy. Still, I couldn't muster up the courage to do it. A few weeks later, I came close to giving up on the whole experiment. But I remember the words. If you don't, you cannot change anything. So I decided to try again, and I armed myself with enthusiastic determination. The moment I'm there with my father in front of me, enthusiasm, however, is replaced by panic. My heartbeat went into sprint speed while time switched to slow motion. It was like the first time on the edge of the 10 meter dive tower of the swimming pool, standing there paralyzed by the terrifying height, thinking, shall I jump or not? And then I jumped. Arms out, brace for impact and embrace. I hugged my dad for the first time. My dad was caught by surprise, of course, but within the next slow motion second, he put his arms out and hugged back. A simple hug had a life-changing impact and unveiled a powerful lesson about change. This change actually resembles a space launch. The first two minutes from takeoff requires more fuel than the entire next seven months of flight to Mars. The heavy fuel burn these two first minutes is because of gravity. I had also felt a kind of gravity, this paralyzing inertia leading up to my dive tower jump moment. Giving Dad a hug today, however, is second nature. The wise old man was right. By mastering the human mind, you can turn thought into reality. It begins with awareness about something worth changing, a thought, a compelling vision about an alternative future. Then, through willpower, persistence and courage, we master our inert gravity to turn that thought into reality. I've always aspired to be a change maker. Victory over gravity can add fuel to inner fire and desire for purpose. So I decided to jump again, this time from the safety of a familiar corporate career, 
into the uncertainty of the entrepreneurial startup world, fueled by a passion for creating hope for a better future for people and planet. Let's digest some facts about this jump as the global population quickly approaches 8 billion. Did you know that nearly everything we eat is utterly dependent on healthy soil? Earth is sometimes compared to an orange, where its peel represents topsoil. In fact, it's more like an apple, and this thin skin of topsoil is vital to nearly everything we eat, the clothes we wear, and the air we breathe. Do you know the current state of global topsoil? More than 20% of Earth's fertile land is already degraded. And deserts are spreading so fast that global agriculture may only have 60 harvests left. 12 million hectares of fertile land perish to desertification annually, according to the United Nations. That's 2,000 football fields of fertile soil turning to sand every hour. Yes, 2,000 football fields burning to dust every hour. If you line up the football fields, you have to drive at 210 kilometers per hour as they turn into desert. And as this plays out, our global population is growing so fast that we will need more food in the next 40 years than the planet has produced over the last 500. Growing food also requires water. Lots of water. The water footprint of a hamburger is 2,000 liters, a slice of bread 80, and a cup of coffee more than 130 liters. That's 43 gallons just for your morning coffee. And what is our water situation? By 2025, 1.8 billion people will suffer absolute water scarcity. And more than 70% of all available freshwater on Earth is already consumed by agriculture for food production. And what happens when more soil turns to sand? We need even more water. Turning thought into reality, where we declare victory over these challenges, made me jump into the climate tech startup journey with Desert Control. Our vision is to make the Earth green again by stopping and reversing desertification and soil degradation. And how do we do it? With the power of nature's gravity. Let me explain. Clay-rich soil retains water and has high resilience to droughts. Mixing clay into the ground, however, is difficult. We therefore invented a process to turn clay into a liquid, nearly as thin as water. The liquid is sprayed onto the ground and gravity does the rest by pulling the tiny clay particles down. Sticking to each grain of sand, they form a soil structure that retains water like a sponge. This process can turn degraded land and sand into fertile soil and reduce the water usage for green ecosystems by up to 50%. It almost sounds too good to be true. It isn't. It's real and it works. Here are some before and after pictures. But can this brilliant idea really help save the planet? With more than 20% of the world degraded and deserts spreading at 210 kilometers per hour, we have to work hard, fast and furious to take ideas from the startup stages and propel them to make a universal dent in this massive problem. How to get there? First, we must understand that simply because we see the problem doesn't mean that everyone else does. Football fields disappearing at 210 kilometers per hour are invisible to the human eye. Soil degradation happens under our feet and the topsoil is getting thinner from underneath, out of sight, out of mind. Further, the 2,000 football fields per hour turning to desert are scattered around the world. The problem must therefore be recognized and solved from the edges with global solutions and local implementation. Second, we're in a battle against time. Winning slowly, inch by inch, country by country, will take longer than we have. We must think big, start small, act fast and design to scale exponentially. In other words, we need a massive jump 
to kickstart this exponential roadmap now. Imagine observing a desert planet from space. Suddenly a green mosaic piece appears, then another one and another one. And as each mosaic grows in size and the pace of new pieces accelerates, the exponential terraforming power kicks in. And when the mosaics interlock, the vision is complete. Let's translate this to the climate change reality. The first World Climate Conference was held in February 1979 and scientific evidence pointing towards disaster has been published at accelerating pace ever since. Still, no change of direction has been made by mankind over more than 40 years. That's about the same time it took for me to hug my father. I believe the inertia kind of gravity plays a powerful role here. You know, even the explanations and excuses we come up with are in themselves a representation of inertia. A gravity that makes us postpone even the most important thing in life, because we have something urgent to take care of first. And when the most important thing in life finally becomes urgent, it may already be too late. The best time to plant a tree was more than 40 years ago. The second best time is now. That is, if we have the fertile soil to support it. In fact, even the most obvious solution to climate change can be right under our feet. Did you know that as much as 95% of earthly species of biological life may be found in soil? A mere teaspoon of healthy soil contains a billion bacteria, thousands of protozoa, dozens of nematodes, and an army of creatures ripe for an action hero movie. This army underneath our feet and the soil ecosystem is vital for the circle of life and the carbon cycle. Restoring Earth's degraded soil can offset 50 gigatons of CO2. That's 10 times the annual emissions of the United States. And the soil ecosystem, with its army of superhero earthlings, captures carbon entirely for free, boosting agricultural productivity and water efficiency at the same time. Stopping the 210 km per hour decertification is therefore even more critical. When soil degrades, so does its army of superhero earthlings. The 12 million hectares of fertile land lost annually is in weight of biological superhero life equal to 25 million African elephants. Superheroes we can save by mastering gravity, an act that in return may save us all. Can you see it now? That solutions to humanity's greatest challenges are right under our feet? With open eyes, discovering gravity can come from a falling apple or giving dad a hug. The next step is mastering gravity to turn thought into reality. And when you are standing there on top of the dive tower talking to yourself about jumping or not, remember that it's easier done than said. Making that jump can even set you free to pursue a purpose larger than yourself. Your potential can even start an exponential movement for a brighter future. Time is running out. Fortunately, you can unleash superpowers when you jump. Are you ready? Thank you 